Welcome back. This is the post game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. A terrific win by the Lafayette Leopards. Certainly what would be considered an upset. They win this one by a 63 to 60 score. A happy Fran O'Hanlon is with Dan Mowney and also Tony Johnson, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Here's Dan. All right, Gary. Hey, you can take nothing for granted against a great team like Delaware. Lafayette, though, put it to them. 14 points, a run, unanswered points in that first half. Coach, you went up by 20 early in the second half, which would have put a smile on most folks' face, but you told me at the break they're going to have a run, and they sure did. Uh, they're, they're just too good a basketball team. They have the kid, Devon Sadler, is as good as we're going to see. You know, Higgins is a terrific rebounder. And our, our zone bothered them, obviously. And, uh, you know, second half, uh, at the very end, I wish we would have closed it out a little bit better. But overall, it was a great effort on our part. And I thought a big part of it was the first half rebounding. We did a pretty good job against them, and our zone really bothered them. I tell you, there's no better tactician than Fran O'Hanlon on the sideline during those timeouts. Talk a little bit in detail, if you will, about the defensive effort made tonight and some of the X's and O's part of it. Well, I, you know, the players are the ones that execute. Uh, we we thought we could play them some zone. We mixed it up a little bit. We played 1-3-1. One, one. We extended a little bit. We played 2-3, just trying to slow them down because they want to get the ball and go, and that's not a, a team that we can just run up and down the court with, you know, and make it a high-possession game, and, and it worked for us today. Coming up, uh, it's going to be a, kind of a return performance, a repeat performance. You're able to beat LIU Brooklyn here at KSC. You're going to be heading to their place on Saturday. Yeah, and, the, and they're a terrific team. It's another team that's uh, the favorite to win that. They've won it two years in a row. We know it's going to be a battle for, uh, you know, up there. And, uh, you know, I think we got better today. Uh, hopefully, you know, with our team, and we're a little young, I think just consistency is going to be a big part of it. All right, that's 4.30 in Brooklyn, New York for LIU. We wish you the best of luck there on your trip to NYC. Thanks, Dan. All right, let's turn to our right here for our Coca-Cola player of the game, Tony Johnson, the uh, team captain here. Tony, your efforts astound me. It's almost as though you reinvent yourself in order to make it work against whatever opponent it may be. You've got the best three-point shooting percentage on the squad. Nary a three was taken by you here yeah, tonight, yeah. but you worked your magic in other ways. Tell us a little bit about what you saw out there. Yeah, I mean, uh, really today, I know that they're a real aggressive team. I just looked to really get in gaps and uh, find the, some of the better shooters on our team, such as Joey, Seth. I know Dan can knock down the 16-foot jumper, and uh, I think I, I'm just really proud of the guys today, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. I'll tell you, your driving game, you must have enjoyed your time behind the wheel. You seem to find some, some daylight and a lot of big seams uh, driving to the hole. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, when you have uh, such great shooters like Joe and Seth, uh, holes just kind of are there. And um, I just look to be aggressive all game, and it worked out for us tonight. We had uh, a couple big plays, I know. The one who I think Joe packed it down to Dan will put us up by six or eight. So just plays like that are what we need all season to kind of stay ahead and get wins. Unselfish play and also sharing some of the uh, some of the accolades here is uh, the uh, captain Tony Johnson. He leads the team in so many categories: minutes played, assists, steals, field goals, three-point field goal percentage, 86 percent, and he got it done today with defense and a 13-point effort. Congratulations on being our Coca-Cola Player of the Game. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, let's bring it back to Gary and John. Thank you very much, Dan. Another terrific job by Dan Mowdy. Remember, Coca-Cola, you can experience the Coke side of life. Now let's experience the John Leone <laughs> side of life. Here is John with the highlights. Well, let's experience a little Lafayette basketball, Gary. They did a terrific job early on. We talked about the big league they built. But this is what they were up against. A very tall, lanky, athletic team. Boy, Higgins, Jamel Higgins was unbelievable. But Dan Trist, Lafayette's inside big guy, really got them off to a great start, scoring all kinds of ways. There he slips the screen. You saw a baseline jump shot. Joey Zizinski got him going. They shot well over 50% in that first half. Tony Johnson always knowing where his players are and knowing the particular skill set of those players. Finding Levi Geese, Seth Hendricks off the screen. Nice pass from Danny Trist. The big guy being able to pass the ball. Lafayette really had it uh, up against it on the boards. Uh, they did a great job to Delaware in the second half. There you see Sadler knocking down. He started heating up. The big thing for Delaware, Gary, was their defensive intensity in the second half. Here's Hagen's underneath on a little uh, feed from uh, Sadler, but Lafayette's offense was just too much. Great movement without the basketball. Hendricks, they really shared it. They had five guys in double figures. Trist had double figures, but a great floor game. You heard uh, Tony Johnson, Dan Mowdy, talking about his ability to dribble drive, and uh, here's the backdoor cut. Lafayette running their offense so well. Uh, Gary, it was never over until it was finally over. This was the last four seconds 
Anderson has a shot to tie it up after all of that. All Lafayette had to do was inbound the basketball and run the clock out. They threw it away, and Delaware almost forced overtime. Well, almost <laughs> did not happen for the Blue Hens as Lafayette comes away with a victory tonight. Lafayette now goes to two and six. The Blue Hens go to two and five. Here's how the numbers unfolded for Delaware. They're 60 points on 21 field goals. As you get a look at the individual numbers, they were eight for 27 from beyond the arc and 10 for 10 from the free throw line. A monster game out of Jamel Hagan's 18 points and 23 rebounds in the ball game. For Lafayette, they're 63 points on 24 field goals, six for 15 from beyond the arc. They were nine for 14 from the foul line. Four guys in double figures, Tris with 16, Johnson 13, Tuszynski 13, and Hendricks with 13. Lafayette wins this one 63 to 60. They'll go to LIU to play on Friday. That's a 4.30 ball game. John and I will be back along with Dan and the RCN television team for Tuesday night's ball game when they take on St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Great win here tonight. They're two for two on LSN. That's the way we like it. So for Chris Poppy, John Leone, Dan Mowdy, the RCN and LSN television team, thanks so much for watching. I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.